And moving on, after 18 days in space and nearly 7.6 million miles traveled, the AX-4 crew is heading home. India's pilot Shubhanshu Shukla, Commander Peggy Whitson and two mission specialists undocked on Monday at 16.45 IST. Their splashdown is expected off the California coast today around 15.01 IST. Well, the mission marks a historic milestone, especially for India, ushering in a new era in human spaceflight. Reigniting national pride and marking a major step forward in India's human spaceflight journey, AX-4 mission pilot Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, along with three other astronauts, entered the Dragon Gray spacecraft on Monday, leaving behind the International Space Station to begin his journey back to Earth. The hatch of the Dragon Gray spacecraft connecting it to the International Space Station, was closed at 2.37 p.m. IST on Monday. Undocking with the ISS was completed at 4.45 p.m. Indian Standard Time. In a social media post, India's Minister for Science and Technology and Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh, said the entire nation eagerly awaits Shukla's safe return. Shukla's family expressed immense pride and joy ahead of his return on the 15th of July. They're planning a grand welcome, reflecting the nation's pride in his historic achievement. The 18-day stay aboard the ISS marks a milestone in India's space exploration. As part of the Axiom Mission 4, or AX-4, Shukla became the first Indian in 41 years to reach the ISS. During the mission, he conducted over 60 experiments, including seven led by ISRO, focusing on microgravity research, covering sustainable space agriculture, crop resilience, microbial adaptation, and muscle regeneration. The AX-4 mission, a collaboration between ISRO, NASA, Axiom Space and SpaceX, marked India's return to human spaceflight after more than four decades. Launched on the 25th of last month, the mission saw Indian Air Force pilot Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla make history. On Sunday before undocking, the AX-4 crew participated in a farewell ceremony aboard the ISS. Shukla said, 41 years ago, an Indian astronaut described what India looked like from space. And now, people are eager to know what India looks like today. Today's Bharat is seen from space. Today's Bharat is seen from leader. Today's Bharat is seen from confident. Today's Bharat is seen from fear. And because of these reasons, I can say it again that today's Bharat is seen from space. Shukla's participation is a key milestone for India's space ambitions, particularly the Gaganyan program. On the 28th of June, Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with Group Captain Shukla via video conferencing and said that his mission and experience would significantly contribute to India's space journey. You know me very well. Whenever I talk to someone, I give my homework. We have to increase मिशन गगनयान को आगे बढ़ाना है हमें अपना खुद का स्पेस स्टेशन बनाना है और चंद्रमा पर भारतीय एस्ट्रोनॉट की लैंडिंग भी करानी है इन सारे मिशंस में आपके अनुभव बहुत काम आने वाले हैं आफ्टर लैंडिंग ग्रुप कैप्टन शुक्ला एंड द क्रू विल अंडरगो अ 7 डे रिहैबिलिटेशन प्रोग्राम अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ फ्लाइट सर्जंस to readjust to Earth's gravity and conditions. Rabindra Chauhan's report, DD India. And DD India, Siddharth Bharadwaj joins us for more on this. Well, Siddharth, a very, very proud moment for India. Indeed, a SpaceX's Dragon capsule carrying the XM4 crew has undocked uh, yesterday from the International Space Station. Uh, Subhanshu Shukla being the first Indian in 41 years to reach the ISS. How significant was this mission in terms of scientific experiments or milestones achieved aboard the ISS? Well, first of all, a very good morning uh, to you, Lipaksi. And one thing which we know now, that after long 41 years, we know that how India looks uh, from space again. And it looks sare jahan sacha. That's what Shubhanshu Shukla said, uh, you know, in his farewell speech. We can we cannot forget that. Certainly, he said that today's India is fearless. Today's India is confident. And today's India is full of pride. And it's sare jahan sacha. So that's what we know. You know, and it speaks volumes right. about the fact that how India... Uh, you know, is shining on the world map when it comes to its space program and how India's space program has come a long way, uh, uh, Lipaksi, you know, and when you talk about 
the experiments, when you talk about the significant of this, uh, significance of this mission, then it's huge. You know, from areas ranging to agriculture to space, uh, the experiments conducted by uh, a group captain Subhanshu Shukla uh, will certainly benefit all these sectors. Uh, you know, he conducted certain experiments uh, like space microalgae, you know, studying about their potential of uh, food production, studying about their potential of oxygen and biofuels. And apart from that, also centrifugation of cyanobacteria, uh, among other experiments that he has conducted. So that holds a great significance in itself. Um, and, you know, it, it also... Uh, shows India on the global map, you know, how the space program, the, how India's space journey has come a long way and it's progressing, you know, aligning with the vi vision of Vikasit Bharat 2047. And, you know, uh, in few years we'll see uh, everything uh, getting made under the sun and as Prime Minister Narendra Modi was speaking to uh, Shubhan Shukla when he was aboard the ISS, we heard that uh, Prime Minister said that uh, he always gives homework. Uh, so, you know, the focus is actually to take the Gaganyan, pro uh, Gaganyan program forward. Uh, the focus is to actually set up India's own space station and also, you know, its vision of sending person to moon by 2040. Right. So these are some of the things that, uh, you know, the, the focus is on. Right, Apart so that from the fact... Apart from the fact, Lipakshi, when you talk about, uh, you know, the, the entire procedure, that the splashdown is expected to take place at 3, 5 or 3, 1. You know, time may vary, IST, but then once the splashdown takes place, what happens after that is very, very important because when, you know, the astronauts are in space, the bone density reduces and also, you know, the sp skin becomes baby-like. Apart from the other challenges that the astronauts face, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a rescue ship w which will be there with fast boats, medical team and technical team, uh, you know, that, that, that entire capsule will be lifted through hydraulic cradle and then the astronauts are assisted uh, that the onboard one medical checkup will take place apart from uh, apart from that they'll be taken via helicopter to Houston the other medical checks will also take place there and there will be a rehabilitation program uh, which will go on till one week uh, because like I just mentioned there are different challenges which astronauts face while they are in space to, to recu recuperate and come back to shape again the rehab rehabilitation program uh, you know is conducted which is very very important and you know right. was also very beneficial for the mental well-being of the astronauts apart from that you know when you talk about the experiments that are being conducted uh, they, uh, the, uh, the, the digestion in space was also checked apart from that the muscle loss in space and uh, the mental well-being of astronauts was also you know as part was part of the experiment so further it will help the astronauts who will be uh, further uh, going to space and you know it also gives you a very shining example of the fact that uh, you know how India is progressing when it comes to its space program right. and how it paves the way for other astronauts as well from India to go to the space uh, you know and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, again speaks volumes about the fact that yes. how the space program uh, uh, you know uh, uh, has come a long way in the right, space so program. That so these are so all that the you were talking that's about the, reason, the uh, you know the uh, the significance of this uh, 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 particular mission lipakshi yes right so that you were talking about the global positioning of india so how is this uh, shaping india's global positioning in space collaboration especially uh, with agencies like nasa and spacex this itself this mission itself is a great example lipakshi i mean you when you go by this mission um, you know when the several agencies are involved uh, it gives you a very bright example that how the collaboration is taking place and how india's space program has come a long way like i was always mentioning i was earlier mentioning as well uh, so yeah the indian when you talk about india's space program uh, you know the the india is shining on the world map when it comes to this and also like i was just mentioning it opens the way for other astronauts from india to go to the space and conduct another experiments which will further help not just india but the entire world in different sectors ranging from agriculture range, ranging from from space ranging from technology uh, you know uh, and it will certainly give a boost to science and technology altogether uh, so it certainly goes on to show that how the indian astronauts how how uh, you know people from india are uh, uh, you know shining bright on the world map and uh, in fact today the world is looking at india uh, not just because of the space program but for other sectors you know but and courtesy to india's vision of uh, vikasit bharat 2047 like i was just mentioning earlier as well epoxy that in few years from now India will be able to make everything under the sun and uh, uh, curtsy to all the sectors that are boosting with rapid pace uh, from agriculture to finance to health uh, to defense you know and collaboration India's collaboration and strengthening bilateral ties between uh, between the countries uh, and many regions in different continents and subcontinents so yeah uh, all together Lipakshi uh, 
it's a great move uh, and as far as the collaborations are concerned that this mission itself is an example of how uh, you know india is progressing in science and technology and space program back to you absolutely india's future missions like gaganyaan also will get a big boost there thank you so much siddharth for all that information